Hey guys, just a quick update. Today is November 28th and today is cycle day one. At first I thought my period was going to be late, but it just was a day late, which was like, wow, my, I had an appointment on Monday the 26th and I had to cancel that appointment because I did not start my period. My doctor called me back and told me, regardless whether I had started my period or not, she still wanted to see me today. Well, yesterday I started spotting and apparently while I was in the office, I actually got my flow. So that was a little, that was an awkward moment for me, for her to tell me, oh yeah, you started your flow today. And I'm like, no, I'm still spotting. She's like, no, you definitely have a full flow now if you didn't have it before you rocked in the office so I thought that was kind of funny but it was a very awkward moment because I'm still haven't gotten adjusted to getting my period yet so for her to tell me that and I just got this real icky feeling but on to better news um and well some bad news too well I don't really know if it's bad news but anyway so um got my ultrasound Lana looks great they she said she doesn't suspect that I'm going to bleed for too long. So probably a two-day period. So woohoo to me for a two-day um, flow. But I uh, talked to her. She said that my line looks pretty cool. My ovaries don't look too polycystic, so that's good. There's no functional cysts going on. Um, she did my blood work. That came back. They called me back. Go ahead and gave me the um, green light for cycle day three to start. I'll be starting three um, pills, which is a... 150 milligrams of the clomid for a course of five days. We're going to hope that this actually works. Now, if you are keeping up with my videos, I actually made a new channel, um, and it's actually called Miss Baby Buttons, and you can look me up and you can subscribe to that channel. But that one is just strictly dedicated to my trying to conceive and parenthood journey. Um, but on there, I said that I was going to try what one of my friends does. Her name is Tanisha. She was telling me that she takes the soy isoflavones, and she was telling me, you know, when and how she takes them. Well, when I spoke to my doctor about it, because, you know, I still like to double check and let my doctor know what I'm doing. I don't want to do something that could possibly hinder my chances of, you know, conceiving and ovulating. Well, because I had polycystic ovaries, and she just explained to me to make it short because I don't remember all the things she said. Pretty much she gave me a no and told me, do not take the soy. She said, if you drink the soy milk, you know, that's absolutely fine. But she said to take it therapeutically, she does not recommend that at all for me. So if you do have polycystic ovaries and you were thinking about taking the soy um, isoflavones, I don't know if everyone's case is like mine's, but my doctor did recommend for me not to take them um, therapeutically, meaning, you know, by tablet. Uh, and I'm glad I did run it past her because I was just going to do it and, you know, hope that, you know, it just gave me the little nudge or kick that I needed because apparently my ovaries seem to be really insensitive to the medicine. Um, so, guys, just wish me luck and I'll update you again. I guess around, it would be cycle day... I think it's 10 for me, but it will be December 11th once I come back from my doctor's appointment. Um, that's the next day that she wants to see me. So today is November 28th, and it's the cycle day one. And on December 11th, I think that is cycle day 10 for me. I'm not too sure. And I don't have my phone by my side, so I can... Oh, wait, no, I can add it up for you guys. I know I'm a little slow. Just give me a second. Okay, it's actually cycle day 14 is when she wants to see me um, again for December 11th. And she said, when I asked her, she said she expects me to ovulate somewhere between the 12th and the 17th if I'm going to ovulate. So hopefully we'll see this follicle start to grow on 150 um, so I don't have to go to anything else. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so somewhere between the 12th and the 17th, I should ovulate. Um, cycle day 14 is when she wants to see me again. So that's it for my update. You guys have a great week, and I will talk to you again in about two weeks. Bye.